Hi everyone, <laughs> sorry I've been a bit quiet, I've been um, absolutely shattered lately, um, I did get to up to one o'clock today, so I had a massive line which I haven't had for literally probably a couple of months now, so it's much much needed, um, as you know we've had a bit of busy period um, in the local elections, we um, ran a full slate of independent candidates um, to give people a voice to say a big fat no to um, health certificates. And um, we want to see the immediate end um, to lockdown, um, which was really important. And the local issue of saving the oasis, which is very important to all of us. Now, um, we formed literally just over six weeks ago and we hadn't had um, any funding or anything, um, excuse my language, but not a pot to piss in. So um, what we've achieved in that short period was quite phenomenal, really, to put a full slate of 20 candidates together. And um, we had great success. We took over 2000 votes away from the political establishment in Swindon, which I just Honestly, a few weeks ago, I never have thought of, dreamt of anything like this. So absolutely blown away with the support. That's over 2,000 people that think like us and want their freedom back. So a massive, um, massive achievement there. And of course, we don't have the funding or the media coverage as the political establishment, where they, they'll always try to make it out to be red or blue. And um, they've got wealthy um, donors who can pump money and send out. Some people had like seven leaflets, like from the Tories, like really good quality ones as well. You know, we just can't compete with that. We don't have that kind of money. And the wealthy are always going to, um, to be in control while this, this unfair level play, well, until we get a, a level playing field, basically. And it's completely un, unfair at the moment. But we did what we could, and um, I was so proud to um, to get that collectively. And it's um, everyone who stood up are such heroes. Like I said, a lot went out of their comfort zone to do this, but they were so brave to do this. It really inspired me and the way people um, took to this and just did what they could. You know, we, you saw us campaigning in the Swindon Town Centre. It takes a lot of guts to do things like that. These are real, um, um, real people who um, really care about our future and the future of our kids. And um, they can hold their heads up high, every single one of them. And I was so honoured to stand with them. I really was. So we're going to see now where we'll take this from. As you know, the Tories have just lied to get in. Um, and um, when people realise that um, they've been um, mugged off again, then... I'm sure if we do have to run again next year when we're in the same sort of situation, then we'll get even more support than, than we did this year. So um, it was it was for us, it was a massive victory to um, to use this platform to get our message out. And then every single vote, vote was a bonus, you know, and um, over 2000, just absolutely blown away by that. So um, we're going to have a, a little break for now. And then we will um, weigh up um, our next options. And like I said, we don't want to have to do this. We shouldn't have to do this. Those we elect should be um, um, just doing what we ask them to do. But they just completely ignore people as soon as they get in. And we know this. And it's so sad to see so many gullible people voting for the same old rubbish all the time, expecting things to change. They never will. They never will. We, unless we get real people in there, not these career politicians, these self-serving parasites. Um, the, the turnout was, I have to say, absolutely shocking again, as usual. The voter apathy is certainly in this town, which is a weather bow for politics, is um, absolutely terrible. You know, is, I think it had risen slightly, but it's still like 37, 38 percent. I mean, this is absolutely appalling. It really is. People really do need to um, to come out and um, and um, and support uh the causes like we got you know while we still got our democracy it's so important i know i keep harping on about this but it's so true those you know most people didn't come out and vote and if they did perhaps it could have changed things dramatically for us but like i said the only reason why we really ran was to get that message out and we we smashed that 100 percent, and all those votes were an absolute bonus but i shall um um, get off now. Um, once again, big thanks to everyone who supported us. Well, went went out and voted for us. Absolutely incredible of you. You can hold your heads up high as well. They they were they meant so much to us. So thank you, and um, I'll keep you updated with our next steps soon. Anyway, take care and God bless you all.